Speaking, it is the Great Commission. Bring forth the gospel. From that also come your personal calling. Your personal calling, which the Lord had only for you. Everyone has a personal calling, a personal unique calling for you to fulfill so as you can finish the work, you can be a great part of the Great Commission. Okay? If you find that you cannot get your personal calling, why? Most probably, that's because you are always looking at what other people does well. And you want to do as well as the others or in a similar way. And then you become restless about your future. You become aimless, restless, because you see that nothing materialized in your life, you know? No. That will stop you from getting your personal calling. That will stop you from not having any deep confirmation in seeking the Lord about what He wants you to do for Him and in this race. You understand? So I'm going to point you right here to Joseph. Oh, you the example of Joseph which you're most familiar about. First, he had a dream. Okay? This is the way you get your personal calling. Okay? And everyone is, look at Joseph. What is the first thing? Prime Minister. I want to be a Prime Minister. No. <laughs> Not that. Okay? I'm showing you what is that personal calling. Dream first. What dream? Not daydream. Okay? The dream tells him about the promise that you will save your family, you will save your people. And for us, it is equivalent to the Great Commission. The Great Commission, that you will make disciples of all nations. You will influence the world in the end times. You know, dream, it's a dream. After you have read the word, after you have, you know, after you have understood the covenant of God, what else is there to do in my life? There's a dream. When I read the word, there's a dream in my heart. The promise of God. The promise of full gospelization. Alright? Joseph started off with the dream. And then second, then he, right after the dream, not long later, he was thrown into the well. Made a slave. A prisoner. Okay? This represents the given circumstances. The given circumstance. Now everyone, after knowing the promise of God, will have a given circumstances in your life. If your parents doesn't have money to send you to the uni, that's a circumstances. If you end up with a job you don't like, you have unpleasant bosses and colleagues, that's a circumstances. Now the fallen nature in us, we we'll always blame our circumstances, feel helpless, restless about it. It's not my ideal, it's not what I want, it's lost, everything is lost. And game over for you. No, most people reacted to the given circumstances with such a nature, with such an inclination. No, listen up. The problem is not your circumstances, but your heart is trapped and controlled by that circumstances. The problem is not that circumstance, but what? Your heart is trapped. Your heart is controlled by that circumstances. God has given you a spirit that is infinite, but you let it be trapped by that circumstances, and that's where you are lost. You will not see anything materialize. You will be always seeking, Pastor Vincent, what is the Lord trying to tell me to do, you know? I want to be like you, or I want to be like so and so, you know, so that I know my direction, direction, what direction? When you are trapped in your circumstances, when you are feeling lousy, hopeless because of your circumstances. So that is the thing now. I want to tell spiritual revelation and breakthroughs doesn't, doesn't come when you are controlled by your circumstances, all right? But let me tell you, this is the avenue that God is using for you to lead you to your personal calling. Understand? Alright? That's why with that given circumstances, listen up, this is the way. 
with that given circumstance, how do you live through the promise? How do you pray and live through the promise and experience Emmanuel? Understand? Okay? How do you live through that circumstances, pray and live through and experience Emmanuel? That is what brings us to Genesis 39.2. What does it say here? The Lord was with Joseph and he lived in the house of his Egyptian master. Now, the Bible purposely emphasized that he was a slave with a master. What can a slave hope for? But he saw the Lord was with him and he prospered. Meaning he prayed till his heart went above the circumstances. You understand? You have to pray till your heart not to be overwhelmed by the circumstances, but you overwhelm it. Now, this is the hardest thing. I tell you why you should do that. I tell you why you should do that. Because in every story you have read about the remnants, after they have experienced the Emmanuel, when they went above that circumstances, not long later, there will come a breakthrough in their time schedule. A breakthrough I'm talking about. Everyone is looking for breakthrough, change. But it happens right after you experience Emmanuel in your given circumstances. It always comes like that. So the Lord, when He gives you your certain problems in your work, studies, or church becomes a problem to you, relationship, you know, something distracting, frustrating, no. Tell yourself, everyone has a circumstances. Everyone has a reason to feel lost and downcast. But the Lord works in such a way that He puts His blessing right in those circumstances that when you can experience breakthrough in prayer and see Emmanuel in the midst of that, I bless you in the name of Jesus. That is the truth of God. The breakthrough will come after that. Okay? But you've got to learn and learn at this juncture. You've got to pray and pray at this juncture. And as you pray, you don't get through. You don't know why you go back to the truth. You go back to the promise. Yeah. I'm losing sight of the promise. That's why my heart doesn't change during prayer. You know? Go back again and pray. Who can be against me if the Lord is for me? Who can separate me from the love of Christ? Claim all this promise. And the Lord has said to me, go and make disciples of all nations. Why am I brooding over my problem? You know, go make disciples. So many disciples out there. You know, pray. Pray. Reflections, a lot of them, until your heart's clear. You enjoy the real peace that God, that you have found favor with God in your heart, and you are contented, and you glorify God in your circumstances. That's it. God has no reason to hold you back anymore. The breakthrough will come. 